Okay friends, so welcome again. Now in this video we are going to work as I said with the cancel and also I'm going to add the preview of the file here. First let's work with the cancel and if you go to the documentation for the revert, file pawn sender delete request with the folder ID as a body by typing the under button. So for that uh, we have created this route and we need to create also the method in the controller for that so let's go to the controller and create the method here with that name and what we need we need to check based on this id getting us a body if the because when we upload, we created this temporary file and we are going to check if that exists because we get the folder as a body, as I said. And if that exists, we are going to remove, uh, delete the directory and also delete the database temporary file. Okay, so let's say here, first I'm going to check dollar sign temporary file tend to be equal with temporary file where the folder but we don't have as a we have as a body here so we need to check we need to say here request and get content first and now if that exists so if the temporary file exists and not like this if dollar sign temporary file exists we need as I said to delete the directory so for that let's copy what we have here and also delete the database okay and returns an empty response so we need to return an empty response so let's say return response and let's say an empty response here and let's check now here we have a uh, in the storage i deleted everything and also here if i refresh yeah we don't have temporary files and posts now let's check from here in the refresh browse click open going to upload and if i come here in temporary files refresh yeah we have in the database and here in the posts we have in the temporary folder that folder in the file now assuming i i change the mind and i'm going to cancel this okay now in the post we don't have we deleted that directory and also here we did it very good now let's work with the preview if you go here and we have plugins as you can see and we have now you can uh, go and validate the image but i'm not going to do that in this video i'm going to just show the image preview and you can install through npm or because i have used cdn let's use cdn for here first let's add the style sheet for the image preview after the file pond so copy that and uh, in the welcome we need to add after the file pond here and the js need to be 
above the white bond. So let's scroll down. We have the JS here. And the last thing is to add the, the register the plugin. So let's copy. And this is going to be the first one, then the code. So here we have the first one is register the plugin, then the other things. And with that, now if I come here and refresh, and let's browse the file. Wow, look very nice. Thank you, Phil File Pond. Thank you. Very good. The same thing we have in the uh, filament. Okay, and now, of course, if I just console this, we don't have here, and also in the database we delete it. And now let's so I see the post, we don't have any. Now let's go and create the real post with a name and the image. Click submit, post created, come here. Yeah, we have in the post, here we have empty. And now in the storage app public, we have posts. And we have directly here the folder and the file, and the temporary is empty. Very good. That's it, okay. But we have more thing to do because right now we don't have validate the name. Also the image, but the image you can go and uh, read here to validate the image. I'm going to validate the name. So for that, let's go to the post controller and when we store we just check if this temporary file exists and then we say name request name but let's create the validator first let's come here and let's say dollar sign validator and call the validator validator make and add the request all here and then I'm going to add the array for the name I'm going to say just let's be required okay And now I'm going to check. So after this one, let's close this just to have you more nice here. I'm going to check if the validator fails. So if the validator fails, I want to return redirect to the home uh, with errors and I'm going to do like this maybe you say why you don't just add the validation here and the, we just say request validate but I'm going to do like this because I'm going to show you later with errors and now we need to say here dollar sign validator And also with input with input like this and let's save and let's go back let's come here and refresh and if I say submit yeah we have the name field is required very good let's go and delete here in the post I'm going to delete this on the temporary we don't have any and let's run also the artisan migrate fresh so we have clean database and so on but now let's assume I just first added the 
image. And then I'm not choosing the name, I'm going to submit. We are directed back with the name field is required, very good. But if we check the database, we have the temporary file because we uploaded the image. And also here we have in the temporary, we have the folder and the file. If we check here, if fails, we just return redirect with, an, with errors. And if we want to delete that, we can say copy this and delete. But if you do that, maybe we don't upload the image so the temporary file does not exist. For that, let's remove back. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a if first here, if the validator fails here and also we have the temporary file if that is true we are going to delete the directory delete the temporary file and then return with errors but if that is not true, for example, if we don't have the temporary file, we don't have uploaded the image, we just return back with errors validator. Okay, I think that's it okay for you. And now let's delete that for the last time. We have clean folder and let's run also for the last time the migrate fresh. And now let's test for the last time. First, we are going to test if I upload the image, open. Very good. And let's see here we have in the temporary, we have the folder and the file. And also here we have very good. But if we don't choose a name and we call submit, yeah, we redirected back with the name field is required, but most important, we clean the temporary directory here and also the temporary database. And that's it. So now let's choose the name, choose the file and upload correctly the, create correctly the post, post created, come here, clean temporary files, post is okay and inside the post we have folder and the file and the temporary is clean okay friends that's it what we are going to build so here we have the form we choose the file we can upload and if we change the mind we can delete that also we can uh, sorry we can Let's refresh and we can browse, choose the file, but maybe we forget the other name and we want to submit, but we redirect back with the name field is required. And now for the last one, let's choose the name and the file. And let's say submit and now post created. So that's it, what we are going to build with this tutorial. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one. All the best.